is a landlocked country. It's completely surrounded by South Africa. It's also the smallest country in the region. It only has about two million people. But it is a high mountain, small country with beautiful mountains, valleys, and waterfalls all over the place. It's ruled by King Letsetsi III. To get to Lesotho from South Africa, the most scenic route is through Sani Pass. The pass is located on the border of KwaZulu Natal province in South Africa and the Tabatsika district in Lesotho. This pass is known as the Roof of Africa. Oh, yeah, he is, he the pass is, is about uh, 47 and a half miles long. It runs from Heimaville in the foothills of the picturesque uh, southern uh, Drakensberg Mountains of South Africa. And it's one of the most hairpinned roads in the world. It was built in the 1950s, but it is, uh, it is a beautiful, though four-wheel drive route. Our day was rainy and misty, making it a magical run. It's being upgraded. It's been paved since 1919, uh, most of it. There's about 11 kilometers yet, and that's the 11 kilometers that we took to get to the village in the mountains. top of Sani Pass, you're at the little village of Sekirikiri. It's a village in the Butabuta district of Lesotho. It's at the foot of Sani Pass and home to about a thousand people. It's an interesting place. The people, everywhere you look, you'll see people wearing blankets. The people are called the Basoto. Our guide himself, a Basoto native, explained why these blankets are so important to the Basoto people. If we're in the south, if we're in the northern hemisphere, the door will be facing the south because they will be get, will be getting the light from the south side. Everybody this way. When the fire is lit, does the countdown um, move with the fire? Yeah. Does no, the floor, no, 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 no. Does See, the floor get warm though? Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's what and I was the floor heating. And the floor heating. Yes. They also get the and the floor heating when they get the fire going there for. A number of hours, the stone get to be heated and the, 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 the floor get to be heated. Now, I missed you may it. not properly feel it, you just feel the warmth inside and it lasts for longer. The cow dung conducts the heat. The mm. cow dung conducts heat. Yeah. 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 Ah. Hey, when they made the first blanket, they made in a, these lines were taken as a mistake. Ah. But the king liked them so much. And the side that I'm showing to you is the women's side. Really? Okay. And this then is the man's, the side. man's side. And I, because of the the pattern is bigger, is that why it's the man's side? Pattern's you can tell different. the difference, can you? Pattern's yeah. different. What's the difference? Well, you got the uh, different coloration. Exactly. The the one side. Yeah. This one is darker. Right. You can see that's right. darker. Uh -huh. Yeah, it all comes through, and the other side is uh, lighter. You can see the lighter. Pattern. That's ah, it. so also, beautiful. Also, the, it has the label on this man's side. So you know what you're wearing. <laughs> the men knows what <laughs> man size. Oh, man man size. side. Yes. Okay. And and the the, the the women when they're not married, they wear the blanket with the fold inside. Oh. When they're not married, uh -huh. then they can wear the blanket like that. When the fold is inside, they will wear the blanket like that. They will have a safety pin to hold. The blanket, she's going to pass me the safety pin sooner than later. <laughs> then, that's how the women will be wearing their blanket. And a married woman would wear it folded out. Okay, and uh, yeah, the, the, all the women, also the same way, but the color will be out and the flip will be out. The color yeah. will be mm -hmm. the same color. Mm -hmm. But the flip will be out. That, yeah. Yes. And the men, this is how so that they can do the cooking. And we see how active they are. Then we kind of find the one to marry. The, one <laughs> that, the hard work come. And the men will wear the blanket the different way compared to the women. The, remember the men's side uh -huh. is that one. So the flip is outside for the men. 
He will wear the blanket like that with the safety pin also. The safety pin is always handy. It's always good. Always keep the person at more well normally active even with the blanket on. That's how the man will wear the blanket. Go to work, do everything he's got to do. When he feels that it's a little bit fresh out there, there's too much breeze coming in. You just do the <laughs> twist. And twist it and around. Twist it around. And now he's warm. You're nice and warm. If you feel that your face is in trouble. <laughs> you oh no. Why did I take that out? <laughs> Flip it up and make Pick it that up. Uh, then you got the fit. How about that? You wearing normally the man will be then wearing the hat. <clears throat> this is a Basutu hat that represents the mountain in the Sutu called Mountain Iluane, which is next to the mountain called Ta Tababu Siu. And then the man will be wearing like that with a stick. And the stick is normally used as a weapon. And also for protecting themselves. Mm -hmm. If they come across challenges, this is the only thing they can use. They don't have an AK-47 <laughs> or uh, anything. This is their AK-47. It's an iron wood, which is mostly used. Iron wood. By, yeah, iron wood. This is the iron wood. You will. That's a very, very heavy coarse exactly, wood. Exactly. Exactly. You you'll feel it soon. Yeah. I'll just pass it on to you. Then you can feel the iron wood stick. Oh. And this mount, this head is a. Uh, a symbol of the mountain called Tabakiruani, which is next okay. to Tabawusiu, and Tabawusiu is where the Basutu's head there, that mountain is uh, the fortress, <laughs> where they fought up until the, the Irish got into them and asked them to write a letter to England to ask for protection. The answer was yes, then the city was protected since, nine, since 1860 up till 1960s. And that's when the blanket also was introduced in 1800. <laughs> 1860, 1800s, when Prince, when the, the, the Queen Victoria came to South Africa, he gave the first blanket into the king of Basutu, King Mushweshwe. Then they stopped using the animal skin. Mm -hmm. I've read that. that I because the animal skin meant they had to kill an animal so that they could have the something to wear. But with the wool from the merino sheep, it was easy. They shear the sheep, they get the blanket made. But the, but the culture is not a vegetarian culture. They do eat meat? A lot of meat. Ah. A lot sheep? of meat. Lamb. Any meat. Any meat. Any meat. Sheep, even, if you bring a, even if you make nope. braai off the donkey, it will still oh, be enjoyable. Really? Horse, enjoyable. Sibo was a great guide yeah. and offered us beer and bread, bread baked in the dung oven, the beer we could pass on. Actually, the bread was quite good. But as all things must, it was time to begin to head for uh, home again. So we started down Sani Pass, and Sibo gave us the history of the paving of the pass, and he pulled no punches on his opposition to that paving. But again, what is, what is the uh, protest going to be? Don't. All the way in America, it will be don't pave Sani Pass. Do not. Pay All together. Do not pay Do not pay Come on, everybody together. Do not pay Sunny Boss. Do not pay Sunny Boss. Leave it alone. Leave it alone.